19th century, most of the things in a traditional Shetland house, certainly up to the earlier 19th century, were items that the islanders had made themselves, and they used themselves, of course. Um, but one of the earliest inroads that um, imported goods made in Shetland was from the Netherlands. Although Shetland was part of Britain, of course, we didn't really see too many trading links with Britain until really quite well through the 18th century. But ever since the beginning of the 17th century, we'd had very strong links with the Dutch because of their herring fleet. And the herring fleet came here every year for about 300 years. Thousands of men came every year and they came ashore and they came to houses like this and they'd buy uh, milk, chickens, uh, hats and socks, and they'd get fresh water for the boat. And uh, a lot of the goods was bought in coinage. Most of the coinage used in Shetland was Dutch coinage through the 18th century. But another favourite thing with the Shetlanders for the Dutch were these. Now, what they contained when they came was what the Dutch called Geneva. And Geneva was a type of gin. And uh, there's contraband gin, or would be regarded as contraband today, of course, because it didn't pay any customs due. It was very popular with the Dutch, but also as popular with the Shetlanders too. So much so that, interestingly enough, um, the the flasks that the, the gin came in, the Geneva came in, it had a Shetland name, but the Shetland name didn't derive from English, and it didn't derive from our own Scandinavian language either. It derived from Dutch. Um, we called it the crook, and the Dutch call it a crook. And these are Dutch crook flagons for Geneva, and every Shetland home had these. Mm -hmm.